y'all people. Back at it again over here at Shalom Health Metaphysical Store. I want to share with you guys one of the main herbs that I've been using to help my brain cognition function a lot better. Now, I've been using this particular herb for the past six years and it has never failed me. It has able, enabled me to think more abundantly, more efficiently, and you guys can feel the same benefits if you learn about this particular herb. So today's herb of the day, we are speaking of ginkgo, ginkgo biloba, known, very known over there in the traditional Chinese medicine and the Ayurvedic tradition. But we need to learn about it more over here in the Western Hemisphere, and that's what I'm here to show you guys. So this leaf is very, very uh, attractive to our elephants. Over there in India and, and China, the elephants reach their trunks up very high to get that ginkgo leaf, the most potent ginkgo leaf, because they have the biggest brains. And the reason why, this improves the blood circulation and the oxygen flow to that brain. We need to be able to create more acetylcholine neurotransmitters so we can have better information recall, have better memory function. So you guys, I know you got children, they, 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 they act up in school, they two years old in school, but they seven in real life, I know. So they may be trying to test them for ADHD and uh, this is one of the things you might want to stop and, and, and find out more about because uh, they're going to try to give them Ritalin, Adderall, and you can improve their blood flow to their brain by using the ginkgo. Use it for four to six weeks. And the way you do it is to take about 200 to 300 milligrams of ginkgo every day. And I have to couple this with other uh, adaptogenic type of herbs, brain stimulating herbs like Go to Cola and Brahmin. We'll talk about all that. It's inside of my brain booster formula. Um, I've been using this, guys. A lot of other people have been finding out. Um, they're using it for a, a couple of months and they're able to retain more information. This works really, really good for our elderly people when um, they're going through their uh, intellectual incline, uh, decline. This is when they have Alzheimer's, they have dementia. You want to improve that blood flow by giving them something like this leaf. Um, I know that this increases the blood flow. So in the heart, you have the most testosterone there, you have the most um, intensity of blood circulation right there in your heart. So if you have that circulation going on and you know it's intense, it's gonna also be more intense down for our men when it comes to erectile dysfunction. So that's just a key note I wanted to throw in because the ginkgo has been helping those people that are have substituted the warfarin, that has substituted the, the rat poison that they've been on, the doctor said that they're gonna be on for the rest of their life. You can use the ginkgo to increase blood circulation. And it also helps with the cognition. So there's a lot of different ways we can use this. Um, uh, just by my understanding, it has a lot more flavonoids. It has terpenoids. These are high antioxidants that are really good for breaking down those free radicals that are coming into our brain and coming into our bloodstream. We need to be able to uh, uh, slow down uh, some of those uh, processes of age-related uh, uh, intellectual decline. Um, so I found out also that this is really, really good for anxiety. So if you're dealing with low dopamine for depression or uh, low serotonin for anxiety, this will help you preserve it. Using something that increases oxygen in the brain will help preserve those neurotransmitters. So we need that, guys. So I just want to come in 